consortium. <coughs> and uh, I'm happy to be here because, uh, as I said, it is a relatively a, a new university and we are uh, building up quite a number of things, so it will certainly help me a lot. And you would like to be an active partner in this consortium. Just to mention a few things, if you look at the agriculture education, we have uh, several stakeholders. We have the faculty, and as was mentioned by Dr. Mishra, our faculty, we have a very limited number of faculty in most of the state agriculture universities. Uh, staff crunch is there, and they need uh, probably a lot of capacity building in themselves to meet the challenges of the agriculture sector right now. Second is the students. I'm talking about uh, enrolled students. Again, because of faculty, they need to be provided supplementary information on the issues. Then we have this as a part of our extension activities. The State Department, Agriculture Department officers, whom we are supposed to again uh, do the capacity building uh, frequently. Then of course we have the farmers and uh, private players. Uh, right now we have not started distance education, but probably in the near future we are going to start that. So all these have to be provided with the relevant material. I think this is something which the consortium can address because we have uh, a much larger uh, expertise pool to develop the material. So I think it's uh, very, very important that we have these things. So we have to sometimes tailor make <coughs> contents looking at the stakeholders directly that have to be addressed. Uh, use of ICT is uh, extremely important and I can give an example for our state. Two years back we started uh, having uh, arresting farmers <coughs> the mobile numbers and we started with a minimum of 5,000 farmers per district. We have over 51 districts. The number has really gone up. We are giving two, two SMS every week. We have also started uh, farmers club. Those who some there are a good number of farmers who are using WhatsApp. So in each district we have a few, maybe 100 or 200 farmers who who are uh, familiar with WhatsApp. So we are trying to, uh, and this is one application in future for for particular. Let let me give one example like this is identification. A farmer can send a photograph through that, and the uh, concerned expert can provide the solution. So these are again some things which have to be built in, which we have just started. I think the issues regarding quality is very important because when you have so many people providing material, there has to be some uniformity or standardization in the content in the contents that are to be displayed. Because if nobody is bothered then quite a many errors can be created as well. Right? And of course uh, it can also help in uh, avoiding duplication. One thing, unfortunately, we are missing from the ICR headquarters or somebody from the education department. ICR is uh, looking for a World Bank project, National Agriculture Education Project. I think there has to be some connection between what we are doing now here and that because they are trying to use, probably building a lot of components <coughs> as a part of, and that will be covering the entire agriculture uh, university set up in the country. And they are also having a fifth D's committee which revises course curricula every few years and that is now uh, uh, active. So I think probably they need to be also briefed that there is something like a consortium which is looking at the courses because the courses are going to be a part of the uh, curriculum in the future. Just to mention that there are many universities which have identified centers of excellence. Almost each university, state agriculture has one. I think they can provide the expertise where we would like to prepare the uh, material or e-courses that will go. And some of them have the infrastructure and some of them need uh, to create infrastructure so that we can use, uh, make maximum use of the quality facilities. And uh, of course there are a lot of publications and success stories which have been documented by universities. I think uh, they can be uploaded on the website and give us connected to provide it to the consortium. So that will give us a lot of information which is useful. Uh, we have to start with English but probably at some stage we have to think how we can convert them into local uh, language because of the farmers and the state government issues. I think at this stage I would like to thank you very much.